Hello, everybody. Welcome to Keith and the Girl. Today's guest is Victor Varnad. Here's what I'm saying about Victor. He has a dumb contest. <laughs> Every day when I walk into my house, he writes on a site, I throw my pocket change into a container. When it gets full, I cash it in, and I do something frivolous with the money. In the past, I have gotten drunk on margaritas and then gone to several concerts in one night. I have gone to Atlantic City and asked the cab driver to take me to the worst strip club. You will make a guess as to how much money is in the container. The person who guesses the closest wins, and I will do whatever they suggest as long as the judges, Keith and Kanda, don't disqualify your suggestion. Can I guess? <laughs> Uh, sure, if you'd like to. $92. And what was your suggestion if you guessed? My suggestion <laughs> is a KTG related tattoo. I don't mind getting a tattoo uh, for this. I think that's cool. I what? think that because it's something I, I probably would never have thought of myself, and uh, but I actually like the idea. Yeah. And I will make a uh, little video documentary of this whole thing happening because there's a tattoo shop around my house, by my house that's awesome. Uh, it's called Goose, and so I'll do it there. Mm. Scale of 1 to 10, level of nervousness. What are we thinking? Uh, scale of one to ten. Is ten really nervous or is one really nervous? Ten is really nervous. Then I would say six. I'm not really that nervous. I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm in good hands here. So. Have you seen the work they've done? Uh, yes, I've seen a lot of the work they've done. I feel like I'm in good hands. I just saw the drawing that he had done of the drawing, which looked really good. So I don't feel that nervous about it. Hello, everybody. Can I do the first line? No, what are you getting out here? It's <laughs> like one line. Oh, hell no. I can do the first line. No. The tattoo? Yeah. I think it's only fitting. Right? Can I do like the first, like half a line? Pick up how nice you look at the I'm not asking for the last line, but it's that. Wouldn't it be fun if all your friends did a little part with them? Yeah, no. Yeah, let me do the first line. Yeah, will you guys call my friends and see if they can come As soon as Victor gets our QR logo on him, we're going to sue for copyright infringement. But for other reasons, uh, I'm very excited. Uh, Any time the word gets spread to keep an eye on robots, it's a good thing. The thing is, I really like robots. I'm on the other side. I thought it was going to be so much worse so far. I was bracing for a lot crazier and it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'm actually happy that I went through with this now. And I feel like now that like we're actually doing it, I can like, oh, I can, I can actually do this. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> That's so awesome. You did a great job. Cool. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Freaking rock. <laughs> Here's what we think we should do with your new tattoo. If it's a bandage, don't leave it bandage for more than two hours. 20 minutes is our recommended minimum. Clean your tattoo with warm water and a washcloth or paper towel. Try to remove all dried fluids, including blood and serum. Serum is a clear part of blood. <laughs> It's a good, it's a good robot. 